Way 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. Well, as we transition into weather, I want to go back to the Veterans Day piece we just did and so thankful for all the men and women who served out there. I understand you have some in your family as well. Yeah, I do, and you do as well. Certainly, yeah. Both of my grandfathers, I have an uncle and a cousin also uh, so grateful for their service. So many legacies to be proud of, right? We no can doubt never about say it. thank you enough. That's right. Incredible. Well, this forecast is something that we can also say thank you for. Not nearly as important at our, as our veterans, but a little bit of needed rain coming into the forecast. Take a look right now. At our current temperatures, at the moment we're sitting at 58 in Huntsville, 55 in Muscle Shoals, and 54 over in Coleman. All is dry right now in Albertville at 52 degrees. We've got plenty of cloud cover overhead, and that's going to stay with us overnight. Now, cloud cover at night acts as a blanket over the earth. It kind of keeps some of that heating close to the surface. So since it's here, we won't be getting quite as cold tomorrow morning, but we'll still have a little bit of a chill in the air. 31 triple Doppler at 10:24 p.m. on your Saturday is completely dry at the moment, but that won't be the case for several of us as we wake up first thing tomorrow. Now, don't get me wrong, the, the vast majority will be completely dry when you start your Sunday, but south of the Tennessee River will have some pop-up pockets of some light rain. Even those that do see rain will see very short periods of time with just a little bit of drizzle. But I would still bring the rain jacket with you as you head out the door if you do live south of the Tennessee River. The good news is that's out of our way by about 10, 11, a.m. and we'll keep plenty of the cloud cover overhead, but at least conditions will be dry for your Sunday. At 3 o'clock, we're going to reach our high temperature for the day, which will sit in the mid-60s, which is actually exactly at average this time of year. I feel like for the last several weeks, I've been saying we're well above average, we're well below average. We've very seldom been at average, and that's exactly where we'll be tomorrow. At 6 o'clock, the sun will have already set at that point, but we will be sitting in the upper 50s, and then we'll cool off quite quickly from there. Take a look at Monday. Day. It's 49 degrees when you're heading out the door at 7 a.m. with a mix of clouds and sunshine overhead. More of that sun than we'll see tomorrow, which will raise our high temperature to sit in the low 70s, above average yet again. But of course, that change is going to flip in just the next several days. The reason for that one, it's a cold front and it's also going to bring us rain. So on Tuesday, we'll hold steady in the 70s, sitting right at that 70 degree mark with plenty of cloud cover overhead. A nice cold front's going to move through overnight and bring some rain overnight Tuesday and first thing on Wednesday morning, which drops our temperature by 10 degrees in just 24 hours. It also means when you leave for work on Wednesday, you'll likely have a soggy morning commute. Now I'm tracking this system that's moving across across the twin states and heading north. It's going to bring some scattered rain to us Tuesday night. So Tuesday during the day, the biggest concern you should have will be the cloud cover. However, at 6 a.m. on Wednesday morning, that's when we're covered in rain. So pad an extra few minutes into your drive and commute to work and make sure you check back with us for the most updated radar timing on Monday and Tuesday ahead of that early morning rain. Take a look at the rest of your 10 day forecast, a whole lot of roller coaster temperatures and sky conditions to talk about. It's 66 and cloudy on Thursday and Friday. And then we're sitting in the upper 60s on Friday as well. We've got plenty of rain all day Saturday before some nighttime rain on Sunday. Something to note as it is the travel weekend right before Thanksgiving. Hey, we've got so much more for you. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back right after the break.